You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will patronize tomorrow, Sunday, the opening of the third session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representative Councils, which will be held online. Meanwhile, the General Secretariat of the Shura Council confirmed the implementation of a number of programs and measures that support the members of the Council to enhance their legislative role. The first session of the Shura Council is scheduled to start tomorrow evening after the royal speech of His Majesty the King at the opening of the third session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representative Councils. For its part, the General Secretariat of the Representatives Council stressed that it had completed its final preparations for the third session of the fifth legislative term through providing logistical and technical support to hold virtual plenary sessions and meetings of Parliament committees in line with the recommendations of the National Task Force to combat the coronavirus COVID-19. Bahrain has hosted a high-profile delegation from the U.S. Department of Energy led by the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Oil and Gas, Sean Bennett. Oil Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa said that the, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, Bahrain is keen to strengthen its relations with various international companies and benefit from the latest developments in modern technology to find new modernization and investment opportunities as well as innovative solutions to improve the vital sector and boost the national economy. The minister added that Bahrain has made major strides in implementing a number of vital projects aimed at developing current resources, especially the recent and largest oil discovery in the history of the kingdom. He also noted that the visit provides a good opportunity to discuss aspects of cooperation and investment opportunities available in the oil and gas sector. The delegation visited Tatwir Petroleum and was briefed on the drilling and exploration sites in addition to the sites of oil projects. The delegation expressed admiration for the level of Tatwir Petroleum's services and modern operational systems. The delegation also made an inspection visit to a number of companies and oil sites in the kingdom where they were briefed on the progress of work at these sites and the efforts made to develop them in order to increase their productivity and enhance their role in serving the national economy. For his part, the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Oil and Gas, Sean Bennett, valued highly the oil minister's support for the delegation visit to the kingdom. He added that the visit aims to enhance joint investment in the oil and gas fields, which will continue to strengthen bilateral relations. Under the patronage of the Minister of Labor and Chairman of the National Committee for the Elderly, Mr. Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, in cooperation with the Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa Center for the Elderly, organized a forum today on reviewing the national strategy for the elderly within the 2030 Vision for Sustainable Development. The virtual forum was attended by a number of specialists from the GCC countries, the United Nations Development Program, the Executive Office of the Council of Labor Ministers, and the Ministers of Social Affairs in the GCC. In his speech before the forum, Minister Hamedan stressed the importance of continuing to improve and develop the services provided to senior citizens in the kingdom in close cooperation with partners from the private sector and civil society organizations. He also affirmed the achievements made by the kingdom in this regard as it considered one of the advanced Arab and international countries in its strategic vision of care and development services for senior citizens. The minister noted that during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, the National Committee for the Elderly was formed in 1984 as a competent authority to implement the general policy for the care of senior citizens as well as to prepare the national strategy for the elderly, which was approved by the cabinet in 2012 based on the axes of development, providing health and well-being with age, creating a supportive environment for all ages, and upgrading the services of this category and their integration in the community. The Housing Ministry has signed the contracts of the construction of the Wadi Sail housing projects, which is financed by the GCC Development Program. Housing Ministry's Undersecretary Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, representative of the Saleh Abdullah Al Mahenna Contracting Company, and partners Salman Al Jasser, in addition to senior Housing Ministry officials, attended the signing ceremony. In a statement, the Undersecretary said that the 234 unit project, which is expected to be completed in about 20 months, adds to the Kingdom's housing achievements during this prosperous era of His Majesty the King. He noted that the project is also a new step forward towards the implementation of His Majesty the King's order to build 40,000 housing units. The Undersecretary pointed out that the Wadi Sail project reflects the keenness of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, to provide decent housing for the citizens in accordance with the highest levels of quality. The Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, organized a virtual orientation meeting on the National Guidance Program for Bahraini Women, Irshad. The meeting was attended by a number of the program participants, including job seekers, entrepreneurs and retirees, as they were introduced to the different tracks of the program, its implementation mechanisms and schedule, in addition to listening to their needs and perceptions in a way that contributes to the development of the program. During the session, private business opportunities were presented, which are currently in rapid demand from project owners. The program will provide the participants with the latest developments 
students through interactive workshops that introduce the most important theoretical and professional knowledge. In addition to skills and experiences with a special focus on the current and future requirements of the labor market and the major changes witnessed during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 4,182, with 552 recoveries and 438 registered new cases. 135 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 299 were contacts of active cases, and four were travel-related. The ministry announced the death of a 70-year-old male citizen from COVID-19 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased. The ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.